The Undertaker reveals what he told Bray Wyatt at WWE Raw 30. JBL reportedly not scheduled to appear regularly on WWE TV going forward and more. Hey there everyone, it's Denise Salcedo. You're watching another episode of The Latest and I got a couple of news stories for you here today. So we're gonna go ahead and kick things off with what did The Undertaker whisper to Bray Wyatt at WWE Raw 30? The Undertaker spoke with Sportsnet on Wednesday to promote his upcoming one-man show in Montreal and was asked about his segment with Bray Wyatt from the January 23rd episode. He shared that he told Bray Wyatt he is always able to come to him for advice. The Undertaker said, quote, I just let him know that my phone's always on and if he needs to talk to me about things or run things by me, that's cool. I would be more than glad to share my experience with him and hopefully shine some light on questions that he has moving forward. It was a cool moment and it did exactly what I thought it would do. Additionally, when Bray Wyatt was asked about this during the Royal Rumble press conference, this is what he had to say. It was so important that everyone knows it's important. You know what I mean? It's the kind of thing that only I get to have. It's something for me, it's something for my children to see down the line. It's just like a gratification, something that all your hard work and all the years you've been kind of compared to him, even though you didn't ask for it. I think everyone in the world finally understands that I'm never going to be him. I never tried to be him. Why would anyone be him? He's the only Undertaker. And it's not even only that moment. That's a beautiful moment, but just him just being him and confiding in me, telling me things, helping me along the way. It's always been that way. Just that was the first public moment of it. It's a powerful moment, man. However it lives on in wrestling history, I don't care because it was for me. And back to the Undertaker interview. Earlier in the conversation, The Undertaker was asked if he still watches the current WWE product and responded that he's always following what Bray Wyatt is doing. He also praised the bloodline angle with Sami Zayn. Taker also spoke about him and Bray Wyatt both having characters in the supernatural genre, in which he said, quote, there's obviously a huge amount of comparisons between his character and mine. I think you know he's his own guy, he's his own character. I don't think it's fair to him to compare what he does to what I did. Alrighty, let's go ahead and jump into our next story. There is a new report indicating that we may not be seeing JBL on WWE television anymore. JBL's WWE managerial career might be over. According to a report from PW Insider, the former WWE champion is not scheduled to appear regularly on WWE programming moving forward. JBL has been used as a manager in recent months after taking on Baron Corbin as a client in October. Corbin has not been pushed in the time since and hasn't won a match since defeating Akira Tozawa on the November 14th episode of Raw from last year. Including house shows, he's lost 17 straight matches. JBL then dropped Corbin as a client in a backstage segment following his loss to Dexter Loomis on Raw this week. During that promo, the 56-year-old was quite adamant that his legacy was being hurt due to his association with Baron Corbin, to which he told Baron Corbin, you can't polish a turd, I tried. We also have some WWE upcoming event information. It was announced this week that Detroit's Ford Field will host SummerSlam 2023 on Saturday, August 5th. The 65,000 seat indoor stadium is the home of the NFL's Detroit Lions. SummerSlam tickets will go on sale to the general public on Friday, April 14th. Additionally, WWE announced today that the Friday, June 30th episode of SmackDown will take place from the O2 Arena. The show will air at 8 p.m. local time on BT Sport, making it the first SmackDown to be broadcast live during prime time in the UK. The following night, WWE presents Money in the Bank from the same venue. And that is it for today's episode of The Latest. As always, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you back here on another episode. Before you go, do not forget to subscribe to the channel.